this is stomp and romp um, real quick I'm gonna talk to you about cider uh, also I did a video on subnetting and TCP IPv4 and also how um, a video on binary so uh, it should if you were going in order you should watch the binary first and then the cider and then the subnetting but you know maybe you're not going in order I don't know cider stands for classless enter um, domain routing and it was created basically when you know we ran out of IP addresses it was a way to to extend and give us some more subnetworks so anyways what is it what does it mean well if you've ever seen something like this uh, slash 24 okay oh no the slash 24 that's cider the slashes all right how did what does all that mean it's real simple it's the amount of ones in the in the binary decoding okay so basically what you would do um, in the subnet mask with cider you're actually ignoring the IP the slash 24 is the amount of ones in the subnet mask so this the standard um, way to do this if you want to do it the memory way there's the memory way and then the drawing it out way in your head you can memorize a table it's real easy you always start with slash 24 slash 24 always equals 254 host okay on your network so if you have an exam question say you have this IP and it's a slash 24 calculate the amount of host available well in your head 24 slash 24 always equals 254 and I'm you know in my subnetting video I show you you know why that is but uh, I can show you why that is here in a second but that that's just the golden rule now you you go down and you divide okay so a slash 25 would be what be 128 minus 2 which is 126 um, on all these you always subtract 2 after the 254 you always subtract 2 for the network and the host okay um, that's for when you're subnetting so technically the right answer would be the 126 but you could get by with the 128 but the, the true answer is 126 okay uh, now I bet you can't guess what a slash 26 is that's right it's gonna be um, 64 right and a slash which would actually be what that's right 62 because you're subtracting the host and the network and a slash 27 I bet you can't guess that's right 32 which would actually be what 30 okay 32 host uh, 128 hosts 64 hosts 32 hosts okay now um, what if you go up so you start 24 is the middleman okay now you can also go up so you could also do you could also do a slash 23 okay how many do you think that's going to equal 512 host but you subtract the two all right so really it's 5 tenth okay um, now there's a mathematical formula, you know, and it, and it keeps going. You could do a, a slash 22, you're going to um, multiply times 2. So here you're dividing by 2, here you're multiplying by 2. Why 2? Well, 2 is the, um, the binary um, system. It's called base 2, and it's multiples of 2, all right? So a slash 22 would equal 1024 host after the 2, which is right, 122. Get it? So the basic rule with CIDR, if you want to use memory tables, always start at slash 24 equals 254. Work your way up or down. Multiply by 2, divide by 2. Got it? Slash 24 is 254. Say it. Slash 24 is 254. If you can remember that, slash 24, 254, you can go up or down, right? Okay. Now you can also do it um, the long way. So let's use our slash 24 as an example. A slash 24 or whatever whatever slash it is it could be a slash 16 whatever the number is equal to the amount of ones okay so what does that mean in the subnet mass so what's a slash 24 that's your standard class C um, address How, what do you mean it is we'll check it out two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then the rest are all zeros. Uh, yeah. So here, the slash 24 says my subnet mask now 
is 24 ones is indicated right through here okay and what what is that well that's 255.255.255.0 right which is a standard slash 24 class C subnet mask 104 makes sense um, now uh, basically you can um, input the amount uh, of ones and zeros in there and you can put a mathematical formula I'll be honest just go ahead and watch my subnetting video because we're kind of getting a subnetting now with that so check that out but I hope that explains um, CIDR a little better let's do like one more let's do a slash 17 okay just to help you how many ones is that it's gonna be 17 right so one two three four five six seven eight dot one two three four five six seven eight it's 16 one and the rest will be zeros one two three four five six seven eight all right now looking at that <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that in binary to see what subnet mask class that belongs to 255.255. dot um that's going to be a 128.0. All right, so if I was just looking at this, to me, that would actually be a class B subnet with one bit borrowed. Okay. And let's just make sure that adds up real quick. Remember, you need to watch my binary video if you're lost on this part. Uh, okay. So, um, uh, yeah, the one was activated. Yeah, so there you go. So that was a 128 subnet mass. Now that's going to be a class B. <clears throat> so let's let's use our formula from our subnet uh, two to the how many ones are in that uh, one minus two. Yeah. So even though there is a one there, we're not going to be able to get any subnets out of that. And we're gonna build a shit ton of host. Looks like two to the fifteenth um, uh, minus two. So yeah, so thirty-two thousand center sixty-six host. So here, if we wanted some subnets out of this, we're gonna have to borrow some extra ones. We're gonna have to take some zeros, and we're gonna have to borrow some zeros. And we could create some some extra subnet uh, subnets. Okay. Anyways, so <laughs> hope that helps. Um, but that's that's how you do it. Now a slash seventeen. Okay, you would have to to figure out how many hosts you get on that. It's thirty two seven sixty six. All right. That's the easy way instead of doing a memory table once you start getting past the slash twenty twos. All right. You could use this formula to to however many zeros. Um, minus two and that'll give you those okay peace